From the beginning, when I arrived to Whitehaven, I was in charge to look for the next equipment for the bakery project. So during that journey, we found out that probably in the 800 ton class machine, uh, the bucket wasn't the correct bucket. Our problem was we have a bit low fill factor, and for that reason, we were doing more than four passes to load a ultra class truck. So Whitehaven Coal actually requested us to attend site to, to review their EX8000 excavators. During that review, we understood and saw that their actual current bucket is only achieving lower set optimization. We are talking they're not achieving the full production value from that excavator on each cycle. The current lips that's in the market and the current buckets that's in the market doesn't allow for that optimization to happen. So they approached us to look at a new lip sizing to work with their bucket. We worked with Joel's Buckets here in Brisbane, who are a bucket designer and manufacturer, to come up with a scale testing protocol that involved looking at three or four different bucket sizes uh, combined with the equivalent lips. This was a bit unique in that we had a bucket partner as well. So it was actually three parties that were involved in this. We got to have specialists in each area, from minor to GT designer to bucket designer. So after we discussed with them around what the possibilities were and what was happening in the market, we found that there was no solution in that space. So we opted to do scale testing. Scale testing is a testing protocol that we use where we scale down real world um, scenarios into smaller machines so that we can test and validate the designs we come up with in a way that's cost effective and time efficient. JAWS and CR work well side by side. We are both a bespoke company that makes bespoke products. So with every Jaws bucket, we tailor engineer every single product to suit the application. So we did all that testing and in the end, we were able to define exactly what size lip was going to be the best option for them. And we were also able to help figure out exactly what dimensions and what characteristics their buckets needed to have to ensure that we could deliver the payloads that site was looking for. They had a ton class bucket that we're building for Whitehaven is a first for that style of bucket, uh, as well as the cutting edge system that's fitted. So as soon as it comes off the rotator, it goes through a lot of quality and assurance checks. There's going to be a lot of blending of the welds. There's going to be a lot of double checking of certain components. So this bucket is very unique because the actual bucket is wider than any other 800 ton class bucket that's been manufactured in the past. It's a total game changer for the 800 ton class. So what we're looking to try and do was actually make a major step change for them in their production so we could actually increase their production per cycle, not per day, but per cycle of the excavator. At the end of the day, it's about moving dirt and getting coal out and putting it on trains. So we've got the Titan system on all our EX8000s. We've got five of these diggers, so um, we'll need five of these buckets as soon as we can. They jumped at the opportunity to, to come on board. We've had a close relationship with CR Mining, and that's not just through Titan or through the GET that we already use. It's just the fact that they come out here and they, they really want to make a difference. We just really believe that this will fill a lot quicker, and the trials that CR Mining have done have proved that. I'm sure we'll be able to see the results. Whiteable or myself and, and the maintenance department are uh, really happy to be involved in a project like this, and hopefully in a few months we can have a good news story. We've been able to achieve consistently uh, into the mid to high 90% range for fill factor since the new bucket score. We've definitely gone from around 4.7 pass average down to around 4.1, 4.2, so a big, big outlet for us. We fitted the first bucket on Australia Day 2021. What really excited me and, and perhaps surprised me a little bit with the results from the Whitehaven outcome was the impact we were able to have on cycle times and dig energies. And ultimately what it means is you're getting more productivity at a better rate and at a lower price. So I was surprised to see the impact we could have on that overall. Bucket payload just by exchanging the two buckets increased by 2.6%. But the interesting part about this particular comparison of the old bucket versus the new was that the fill energy for the new lip actually reduced by 14% per tonne. So although the payload may have only increased by 2.6, and I say only, that's a, that's a dramatic increase, the energy required to fill that payload or fill the bucket to that payload actually reduced by 14%.
Uh, but what we found was uh, those results from the scale testing were mirrored on the machine. So for us, the, the, the maintenance in the bucket is the same, but what, where we will see benefit is most definitely the fatigue up through the front end of the machine. From the success of the first bucket, we obviously trialled and, and followed our metrics pretty closely. We've now fitted the same bucket across the rest of our 8,000 fleets. So we've got five of the new uh, EX8000 buckets on site currently. One of the things we're excited about doing is doing a little bit of a study on the ESG, a platform that this could bring to the table. Because obviously if you're improving your cycle and all the energy is actually reduced and you're getting a, a higher production rate, there has to be some form of ESG benefits that may come from it. So that's a study that we'll do after this. So holistically, providing a solution to improve their fill factors had to be done as a collaboration between the customer, understanding their problem, JAWS, who are actually the specialists in the buckets and attachments, and CR as the specialist in GET. Well, for us, it was really refreshing dealing with CR mining. So the guys have, been, have really listened to their customer, I think. Um, and from that, you know, we've been able to work closely together and create this new product. Fundamentally, our goal is to ensure that when we are on site, we are understanding what the customer needs are, what's important to them to drive either productivity uh, or cost reductions or whatever their desires may be. The importance of us being on site and how we actually influence that uh, is critical to our success. When we are able to actually deliver this and work with our customers, they have more confidence in providing us more information and being more open uh, around the challenges that they're facing, knowing that CR is actually going to spend the time and effort to try and support those solutions and support those problems. But probably other people that you know are surrounding us didn't really, they were not confident that we are going to uh, deploy that particular improvement. Guess what? We, we achieved that uh, fill factor and also the machine required less energy to dig, that is really positive. I think people sometimes is really, really adverse to change, especially when you're challenging something that has been the standard in the market for many, many years, that technically we challenge. I think we will get a new standard, in my opinion, for this class, a 100 ton class because the previous one wasn't uh, the proper size, the proper design. So I think that bucket will be used around the world, that design. In terms of this case study for the market, it just demonstrates the power of collaboration. We, as a company, we bring a lot to the mining value chain, but we recognise there's a lot of information, expertise and knowledge that if that's shared in the right way, we've got an opportunity to improve mining outcomes into the future.